Hello YouTube folks. Uh, this is an informational video on hydraulic diverter valves and uh, how it worked out for me, how, what they do, uh, how my project came out using a diverter valve. And uh, it's just an informational video where I got my valve and uh, the installation. So uh, I have this Bobcat CT225. I've had it since it was new. It's an awesome tractor. And uh, reading a, a lot about log splitters, inverted log splitters, grapple buckets, and uh, so you have a need for some hydraulics in the front more than what you have. So I built this splitter. I thought I'd give it a try. Not a lot of info out there about these sizes of tractors and how it would work out. It worked out really good for me. I use this log splitter to bring these big chunks over and I pre-split them before I, before I break them down into smaller chunks. But uh, I did also make a wedge for it and uh, uh, to do four-way. So uh, if you want, if you see a lot of comments about the splitter or you want a video on that showing it working, uh, I can do that, but uh, it's just been a godsend because a big chunk like that, four or five hundred pounds, I'd always have to quarter it with the maul and wedge, and this way I just bring it over and split it up in smaller chunks. So this is a diverter valve, and this is how I mounted mine here. So what it does, typically uh, the three-eighths lines coming from your loader valve here, so your loader you have up, down with the boom, tilt, in, tilt, down, tilt up, tilt down. So what the diverter valve does, you take your two lines that you would generally be tilt up and tilt down. Uh, they go through the diverter valve and work as they always would before. In, out, to your, divert, to your tilt lines, up and down. Nothing's changed. So then you activate the switch, and what you're doing is you're borrowing these hydraulics for a minute, and you're going to run something else with it. So when I flip this switch and power this diverter valve, the hydraulic flow generally used for the tilt will now go and function my hydraulic cylinder to split. And that's how it works. That's about it. I've got this gauge on there. That's a temporary thing because I want to watch how this works. There's, uh, you know, a lot of questions about flow, and uh, one of the things I can tell you with this tractor, I'm supposed to have eight and a half, around uh, a little over eight gallons a minute hydraulic flow. Um, the uh, splitter is a 24 inch, and it strokes at about 14 seconds when I've got the RPM at PTO speed. Okay, I've seen this uh, this gauge as high as 2,500 pounds. I don't mess with my pressure adjustments on my tractor. That was decided by somebody with a higher pay grade than me, and that's fine. I'll just leave it alone because uh, that gives me about 14 or 15 ton. And if I was, you know, splitting some gnarly elm, that might not work. That might get, I might get, have to get off my tractor once in a while and, and knock it off the wedge. But I'm fortunate enough to have good wood, I can get wood I want, uh, different species. I, I prefer cutting oak and hickory and, and I usually can find that up here where I live. So um, this thing has just worked out fine for me. Uh, other people want 30 ton splitters, I understand that. That's not what this is. Um, so the um, that's how it works. So I don't know you know, you can kind of hopefully decide if it's right for your application or not. Hopefully uh, that's what this video is for, just information. So the, the, the hydraulic diverter valve that I got, um, I did a lot of searching and I ended up buying it from these folks, Summit Hydraulics. I hope you can, I can focus on this. I don't know if it's close enough. Summit Hydraulics. They're on eBay, but they also have a website. It's uh, www.summit-hydraulics.com. 
very pleased with it. Uh, the price, their shipping, it came very fast. So um, if I was going to do this again, I'd go right there. They have a lot of uh, different valves there. This is the 13 gallon per minute diverter valve. Okay. Um, it comes with some fittings. It comes, uh, you have to watch your voltage. Of course, I wanted 12 volts. And most important when you get this, there's some options for switches. I wanted a continuous switch. So when I go to splitting mode, I just want it to stay in there. I don't need to use my tilt. I just leave that thing in one position and go up and split, uh, pick pieces up with the boom up and down, and so I don't use a tilt. But they have two other options for switches, which I believe both of them are momentary contact switches. Uh, dead man switch. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, so you have to watch that option. Again, it's a 13 gallon per minute. So I've got, uh, it comes with SAE. Mine came with SAE half inch adapters to half inch JIC. This tractor had 3 8 JIC. So I had to get some different adapters. They sell those on the website. Um, over here, these 90s, I got locally at a company uh, here called Pillar down the road. And if you see this nut right here, I had to grind this because this is so tight here, I couldn't spin that. So I had to take some off of this nut here in order I could spin that on there. And the reason I wanted to do that, because I wanted to have clearance for my hood. You know, generally you could just bring that out here further and it wouldn't be an issue, but that's what I did. It's worked out fine for me. So uh, there were some, some fittings involved. Um, <clears throat> so we went over the types of switches, uh, the stroke, um, and uh, so, so whether that'll work for you or not, that's your decision. But you know, maybe there's some, uh, maybe there's some uh, info here that help you. Uh, whether it's a grapple bucket you're looking at using or uh, a splitter or there's other other things I suppose it could work um, and also I got some fittings on eBay some of the fittings I bought um, from a fella on eBay a person RNL hydraulics and those were he was fast to ship too uh, and and uh, everything that I needed he had there and I got it in a couple days which is really good uh, the hoses, I just get local TSC. Some of the fittings you can get local. Uh, mounting. Uh, the, the, the diverter valve says it can be mounted at any position, so I put the solenoid on the bottom so it would be out of the way, no damage. It comes connect with this connector. Um, open it up. Make sure that the little screws are really good and tight so they don't come loose on you on your wires. Uh, and... Uh, and uh, you won't have a, a, any problem. So mounting it, this hydraulic diverter valve has some two threaded holes in it that I use for mounting. They're metric. Uh, and I just took a piece of flat stock, cut it, uh, a really common four inch uh, clamp I got at the hardware store. Just a very common thing. And that seems to be working out pretty good. Uh, I'll probably take this gauge off after I play with it long enough with the splitter and understand what's going on there with it. All right, there you have it. I hope this uh, helps some folks out understanding some things. Take care.